Number three, a willingness to be transformed by the gospel. A willingness to be transformed by the gospel. Paul says, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of the mind. This verse has two charges, one negative and one positive. The negative, don't conform. The positive, be transformed. Paul is saying, don't lose your identity to the pattern of this world, to this evil age. Don't allow for the culture to shape how you think, feel, and believe. You've been freed from the pattern of this evil age, and so Paul is urging you, don't conform. Don't go back. Now, this can be a tricky charge because in a real sense, we're called to be worldly Christians. I said it. Worldly Christians, we're to engage this world. We are to move in the marketplace with the message of the gospel. And engagement requires action. It requires getting our hands dirty. We don't just sit back and let the world go to hell. That's totally antithetical to the gospel. We need to affect the culture without assimilating to the culture. So engage, brothers and sisters. Intentionally love. Be relevant. Be light. Just don't lose your sense of saltiness in the process. 